Alrighty. Why does it feel like the window is open for some reason? Maybe the door is open. It is. Okay. Well, hello back. Welcome back, my fellow spiritual beings um, and friends. Just everyone. Walking away never gets easier. You can just do it faster, which is so true. And I hate when people are like, walking away is like a bad thing or running away is a bad thing because... It is actually not because you're choosing that something isn't for you and you're going towards what is meant for you and today's video video and today's video is gonna be about things I would have killed to know earlier just realizations that I had in the past months like what would have been so nice to know when you're just 18 graduating high school or whatever um, because I obviously thought I knew enough or a lot already and I knew myself um, which was not the case or I probably did to a certain extent but it wasn't enough so first thing what I've recognized after living abroad after high school and just like going on with my life is literally that labels don't exist like stop taking what other people like say about you or how they call you how they label you even if those people are your friends as reality like just stop thinking that is who you are stop limiting yourself because once you put a label on yourself you limit yourself and it's actually funny because you probably had the, those teachers that had their favorite students and you might have been one of them or not anyways teachers are labeling you based on your grades in prior classes so meaning if you were a decent student from like seventh to ninth grade tenth grade then you gotta be considered a good student um for like 11th and 12th grade which is the high school in Germany or most of Europe I would say um, I'm not actually sure but Germany for sure um, so anyway so they kind of have this label on you so you might can raise up a little bit or go down a little bit but it's like kind of a based uh, opinion that they have like a set it's kind of a set opinion that they have so Actually, if you want to really get good grades, if you're listening to this, being like in the 10th grade, whatever, like, honestly, put in the work now so people think you are super smart, and you probably are, we all are, so, anyway, but then people will consider you being smart and will be much easier to actually get what you deserve in, like, school grades, um, it's just... Because if you have a bad experience with someone once, you will still have that in the back of your mind. It's just like a natural thing and I'm not even saying anything against teachers. Um, it's just psychology and you can look it up like it's proven. Um, it's like anticipatory behavior, you can say. Um, but yeah, but that is the same with when your parents tell you all the time you're a person that is not disciplined or that is not funny or not good at math you think that's real you think it's true and you react and interact with the word like this label is true but that doesn't mean anything like it is crazy but honestly even your parents don't really know yourself because it is a process getting to know yourself and you're stepping into this process even more once you're after 18. Like, at least I experienced that. Maybe people start even earlier nowadays, like 15, 16. Like, teenagehood for sure is like the first step in getting towards your full potential and towards the version you're gonna be in your 20s or in your life, you know? Um, it's just like very individual. Um, but anyway, it like you shouldn't limit yourself because it is crazy because even though you 
might not agree with a label that someone puts on you you might still think about it it's in your consciousness and you're gonna interact with the label and act so you would fulfill the label so just don't do it like even if friends describe you something, that doesn't mean you are that thing. And you can change. Every single day we are changing, so nothing is permit anyways. And it is just, yeah, you just have to stop identifying with labels in general. Because you can be whatever you want to be. Whatever you set your mind towards to. And nothing is set in stone. Um, and... And the next thing I think I learned is that you don't need to know the next 10 steps ahead. It literally is enough to know the next step. Because if you think about it in a more, like, daily uh, way, like, if you say, like, you want to go from your house to the supermarket, you, you might be like, Okay, the, it's like one uh, mile away from my house. Like the supermarket is one mile away. But you don't have to know how many steps it takes to get there. It's just like you just have to know how to do one step in order to do multiple steps. And it might sound so easy, but that's the same thing with life. Because as I said, we change all the time and life changes all the time. There's no way you can know the next 10 steps that are ahead of you. But it's enough to know the next step that is right in front of your face. And then... Um, I don't know if I want to say identified with. So a step I knew, but... I don't know, maybe never really identified with. Or never thought it's actually a thing because I was so determined it's not. Is that you can't avoid pain. So meaning, if you had a bad experience with a past uh, relationship partner, like a significant other, you might be a little bit more unattached and you don't want to step into new relationships So because you don't want to get hurt again. But the thing is, you're also hurting if you take back um, or if you limit yourself for not having new experiences. So... It doesn't really matter. You're going to suffer anyway. Which is not bad. Because I do believe there's balance in everything. So where there's love, there's pain. Where there's hard work, there's going to be enjoyment. That's just how it works. Um, there's always a yin and a yang. Everything is, everything is in balance. And there's like one extreme and another extreme. You just have to find like the middle. But you can't have light without darkness. You probably heard that. So, and I think even though it might sometimes be hard to step into a new experience, it's always better to experience that to regret not having gone that way or walked that path even though there was no, no trail. So, yeah. And... <laughs> I don't know if you can relate or not. If you're a girl, you can probably, yeah, can relate. Because I recognized every time I get a very weird feeling inside and I'm just very um, sensitive and have maybe a extreme thoughts in like negative ways or just see um, things more prob problematic or judge more intensely I'm like on my period or I'm gonna go towards getting my period which is a super normal thing because there are more hormones in your body so as I said if you're a girl or a woman you probably can totally relate but I'm always like super happy because if I I think like most of the time it's something like negative or I'm gonna be like very emotional in a negative way or just like super sensitive and I'm getting like Oh my gosh, why am I so sensitive? Because I'm normally not, like, outwards. I'm not a sensitive person. And I always try to be very, like, nonchalant and just, like, very cool and settled. Because it is important to keep your head cool. Um, but anyway, so if you 
experience that and then you recognize okay you're gonna get on your period like I'm always like oh my gosh right that's why I was so like sensitive in a way you know why I was feeling it so deeply or why, why I had those thoughts or why I would care in a certain way it was maybe not beneficial for me um and yeah that's like part of stepping more into your womanhood actually knowing your cycle knowing when you are a certain way when you feel a certain way and then you can navigate anything much better but what I wanted to say also don't trust your judgment at night um, as I said, when you're on your period and also when you feel your emotional, maybe not stable. And I'm not talking about like, you're not stable for like a long period of time. Like, you know, there are days where you're just more sensitive, as I said, not just when you're on your period, maybe also like through other circumstances. Anyway, if you feel like you're emotional, not stable, or just very sensitive, it's night, and so on and so forth, don't trust your judgment. Don't make any major decisions. And honestly, I think, if I think bad, back, if, um, if I think back what always happened during party nights in high school and like the judgment people had and the judgment you had about yourself and then, you know all this drama that happened i'm like that makes so much sense like we should have never you know judged anything or made any decisions during a party night or just night in general because it's never gonna be a good thing you know like so many problems occurred because it was just you know the circumstance and we were just probably not there in our most conscious minds or, yeah, whatever you want to call that. And another thing is, um, blah, 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 blah. always, okay, so in Germany you have this saying, uh, talking is like silver and not talking is like gold. I'm not quite sure if that is the same in English, but to conclude this, always say less. Like, I know we all have this urge to over-explain ourselves as humans because we want to be understood so dramatically and so drastically that we always tend towards overthinking, over-saying, and that might differ from person to person like the degree of it but it's always there because in the end we are social animals that want to be understood and I probably know for sure that we all once had this second where we were like should I send like this long ass text where I explain what I'm feeling in the situation or should I have this long ass talk where I explain myself over and over again and I'm not saying communication is bad communication is key and you should always try to be at peace and if, if speaking it out loud or writing it down makes you feel at peace it is good but sometimes it also just helps to do it for yourself like you don't always have to do it towards that other person obviously if it's like your partner or just a friend and it's like a problem in your relationship you have to discuss it but just in general say less if you don't know someone say less just don't talk too much and I'm like weird with that sometimes because I can be very open and extroverted and talk about anything and everything and I don't have a problem sharing my experience obviously because I want to share my experience and my my learnings and advice and that's why I have this channel and also if you like this subscribe and let me know what I should talk about in the next video but also you never really know the full intentional meaning of a person um, in your life because you misjudge situation and people so much and not always in a bad way but it's just it's just never good to 
over explain I would say and just keep it in mind when you're like talking um no matter who you're talking with just say less and I <laughs> I'm like it can be hard because yeah we tend towards another thing and even if you're like very timid person everyone can be a little bit over explaining at times which is not wrong but just keep in mind say less that's gold and that goes hand in hand with when you were wrong from people just let them you know just don't burn unnecessary bridges because it's a waste of energy it doesn't get you anywhere it's not positive you're stepping in a negative frequency in a low frequency which you don't want because you only want to attract good things and it is just not worth your time in any way um so and you never know like especially if you're having a business you might not align with most of the people that you meet that you have to collab with to achieve your goals and maybe you do align with them or just in certain ways you align with them but never burn any bridges because it's it's not positive for you and that is not so <laughs> i want to have like a uh, explain a little thing here because i was just calling with a friend uh yesterday because i was like i never had like uh or not never but I haven't had an ick or a weird stomach feeling about a person in a long time. Maybe also because I wasn't really interacting with totally new people that I didn't know already. Um, but, or, I don't know, that's maybe not even true. But anyway, so I had a situation where someone... You could say wronged me, but I, I didn't even know this person. Like, it was just through, you could say, social media or just through text, I guess. Um, and anyway, I was like, okay, because it was not a situation that was based on my action. It was about, a, about another person that I don't even know so it was like a little bit hard but um i don't know if you can grasp that example but my point was that this specific person that was texting me was very rude in a way and i could have explained the whole situation that i was not even part of but because the proj was so negative that I was like, okay, I don't want to put any more salt in those wounds that are already there. Because I'm not part of it. So I don't want to step into that negativity because my bubble is so positive. Like I only, I have like, I, I have the people around me that I know already that are positive for me. And I'm working towards my goals every day. And it's also because I haven't really gotten like super close to any new people where I would have maybe some more negative experiences because you just don't know them that well yet but anyways I was so I was so like it just had such a bad feeling in my belly and I was so sorry for myself having to feel bad again because I haven't had this in a long time because I was just like avoiding situations and type of people that would give me that feeling obviously because why would I choose something that is not good for me and negative for me even though I might get a fun situation or experience out of it I just knew it wouldn't be good for me so I wasn't going to I wasn't going towards it so when this person was reaching out to me giving me a very bad feeling and was just being rude I was like okay I can engage with that or I can just let them because I'm not part of it so I don't know and if someone approaches you in such a rude and wrong way it kind of tells you who they are even though you don't know them but it kind of gives you an idea of what kind of people they are and why would you engage with people that have this mindset it doesn't make sense but anyways I was a kind of a little bit worried because I felt 
attached to a situation I wasn't even part of. And this is not so deep, honestly. Like, it sounds deep, but it's not at all. But I was like, oh my gosh, I do feel things still, you know? Like, because I always want to be so cool and nonchalant. And I think I am most of the time. And I am pretty unattached, but I am still, like, a very sensitive being. Um, like, internally, which not many people know. Um, and I don't mind it, because it gives you the ability to feel deeply as well and to just be sensitive of a lot of details in your daily life, which is good. But, yeah. So, I am, yeah, I hope this kind of made sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If you have, like, a similar experience, definitely let me know. Um... So let's see, I have some notes here. So, da, 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 attachment is inevitable. <laughs> I was just talking about it. So, if you want to experience something very, very good, um, you're going to be attached. You're going to be attached to the future, to your version of yourself that you could become, to, to so many things. And it goes a little bit hand in hand with not seeing the potential of a person because... That's going to make you romanticize the future, which is not good because then you're so attached to it. But also, you kind of have to do it in a tiny way. Because if you want to be engaged deeply with someone, you are sort of attached to that person. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Money, like that comes into your life indirectly makes you very free and very happy because that's going to be the money like passive income or that you weren't aware of that you would have that money that lets you buy like simple things of enjoyment I would say so that's just nice to know like you don't have to worry about you know your balance uh, if you buy a certain thing that you want because you have this in direct money uh, coming in um, and then focus on learning skills that make you a high paying individual so in general I would say focus on languages because they can always get you a job focus on playing instruments learning coding um just skills that not everyone necessarily has just that make you you know qualified and just also make you special so that can be a lot of things but just keep that in mind um and also coming back to never date for potential also realize that you can't change anyone like i don't know because sometimes and i often see that with girls like they want to change their boyfriends and i'm like why do you even date this person if you want to change them in ways? And I, I get it that you all adapt or that one adapts when in a relationship to a certain extent, but never change who you are, never change your personality. And if someone truly cares about you, they're gonna, you know, adapt to a certain extent so you can meet one another at the point where you want to be mad, but I don't know, don't do this change kind of thing, I don't know, and everything comes in full circle, which is so, 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 so true, because we all probably experienced this gossip phenomenon, uh, phenomena in high school, which means if you talk bad about a person, like, it will come back to you regardless. And also, if one person talks bad about you, it will come back to that person. Maybe not in a time frame that you would expect, but it is, first of all, not good for your karma. And again, it's not a positive frequency. It's not a high frequency. It's just not good at all. But also, just keep in mind, everything in life is a circle. Nature operates in a circle everything comes and goes and flow so just yeah just uh, be mindful and 
also choose your partners or keep them on the same standard as your friends. Maybe some people tend more towards keeping their partners on a higher standard than their friends. But I don't know why we made this, um, how do you say this, this decision. Because honestly, friendship breakups are crucial. They're gruesome, like, a lot. Um, they might even be harder to cope with than relationship partners. It all depends on so many factors, but anyways, just the people that are most close to your self, the five people, like, regardless if those are your relationship partners, lovers, significant other, or your friends, like, in a romantic or non-romantic way, but anyways, if they are very close to you, keep them on high standards, treat them as you want to be treated, just, yeah, just always try to treat people on a high standard if you honestly care about them. And just in general, like, we all should treat each other nicely and with a good standard, you know? It's it's just not, not hard, honestly. And then also, you don't need to prove your worth to anyone. That was kind of hard for me to cope with. Because I always measured my worth on my personal success, how good I was in school, um, with playing instruments, with my sport, with horseback riding, with where I was on my career path and all these more physical evidence things, but it was just just what I did, not intentionally all the time, but that made me question myself when someone wouldn't choose my best interest, or wouldn't choose me, or, I don't know, if it wouldn't match, like, sometimes, like, you can be the most confident person, but you will still get worried about what people think about you, especially if you care about them, and, yeah, and then you... And then you might get into this mindset that you have to prove your worth in wasting time in, which is not healthy at all. Like, you never should have the feeling of proving yourself to anyone but you. And I'm not seeing the, saying this in a very egocentric way because I hate when people are like, I don't care about anyone, I only care about myself. Which is honestly not a bad thing to say but you have to be mindful that you meet anyone at a certain point that is good for them good for you and that you keep the standards high like what i was just talking about with your friends and all of that and you do need a community and it's good to care about one another but obviously you have to be in a good state of mind to be able to care and you have to take care of your your belongings your emotional luggage first before you can take care of others because that's the same like an, on an airplane you have to put the air mask on you before you help others and that's the same in life you know and yeah but just never try to prove that you're worth because people that see you for who you are and see your worth, like, those are the people you want to stick with. Other people, like, you don't need them in your life, like, and that's, again, going back <laughs> to, to the sentence that I probably say in all of my videos, because I always, I'm like, some people are only in your life for a season, a reason, or a lifetime, like, those are the other people that are safe for a lifetime, but most of people you meet are going to be there for a season or a reason. Which is not bad. I think it's amazing. Because that m means like you're going to have so many different experiences. Which is so interesting. Because I hate when I get bored. And I hate when my mind stops working. Which is never the case. I mean, you're always going to figure out things. Learn things. So, um, yeah. But don't waste your time thinking. So, last thing. Don't waste your time thinking. Because time going to pass anyway. Which is so, so true. 
thinking is like swinging on a swing, you're occupied, but you're not gonna get anywhere, like, you're not gonna move, you know, it's just gonna be still in that place, it's just gonna swing back and forth, so keep that in mind, if you have a decision to be made right now, just make a decision, don't think too much about it, which is easier said than done, but Time's gonna pass, regardless, regardless of your decision, regardless if you stay stagnant or move forward. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you could take some good advice out of it. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!